Hello and welcome to the most comprehensive Microsoft Excel course. My name is Kyle Pugh and I'll be your facilitator walking you through the finer points that you're going to be mastering as you go through this course. Now before we jump in, get our hands dirty and start to master these Excel tools and techniques, I want to introduce you to each of the topics that we'll be getting into. Now this course is a combination of four different courses that I offer. Excel 101, an introduction. Excel 102, an intermediate level Excel course. Excel 103, an advanced level Excel course. And the Mastering Microsoft Excel Macros and VBA with six simple projects. Each of these courses bundled together into this one ultimate Microsoft Excel course. So let's take a look at the topics that you'll be getting into. The first set of topics that we're going to discuss deal with more beginner, foundational type topics, things that we all need to master so that we can move on to the more advanced topics and techniques that Excel holds for us. During the 101 course, we're going to be talking about things such as creating spreadsheets. This is an Excel fundamental and something you'll be doing a lot of. We're going to be talking about entering data, working with formulas and functions, huge skill, something that we must master if you want to further your career within Excel. We're going to talk about modifying the worksheet, not just the data within the worksheet, but the structure, the overall look and feel of the worksheet as well. We're going to talk about charts. For me personally, I'm definitely a much more visual person. I got to be able to see it. Just plain numbers and such just doesn't cut it for me. We bring in something like a chart make our data that much more accessible. We're going to get into charts. We're going to talk about printing. You may not think that this is such a big deal, but there's so many pain points that I'm going to alleviate for you. Talking about scaling, margins, header, footer, just making the document look presentable when you're ready to print it. So we'll talk all about printing within our documents. And last topic within our Excel 101 course, we're going to talk about templates save time don't reinvent the wheel every time you need to accomplish x y and z let's do it through a template throughout this this complete course i've got exercise files for you i've got samples for you to go through follow along with me as we do a deep dive into excel then we're going to switch gears and we're going to get into excel 102 we're going to get into the intermediate level topics that you're going to further advance your skills through we're going to talk about Excel lists or tables, maintaining large sets of data, being able to filter and sort that data. We're going to talk about mastering Excel pivot tables, perhaps one of my favorite features inside of Excel. We can create these very dynamic, very robust, very versatile reports, a skill that just about every boss out there is looking for within Microsoft Excel. We're going to take pivot tables a step further, and I'm going to introduce you to the Power Pivot add-in, an add-in to help you create even more robust pivot tables and other reports inside of Excel. We're going to talk about the importance of data validation, making sure that we get clean data into our system so that we have clean data to be able to report off of. We're going to talk about some other functions or list-based functions things to help you maintain those larger sets of data and to be able to find data within those larger sets. We're going to talk about importing and exporting data. You want to be able to bring data into Excel from another system or maybe vice versa. I need to take data out of Excel and put it into another system. And once again, exercise files, sample files, go through and follow along with me as we go through this course. And then we're going to get into advanced topics, the Excel 103 course. During this course, we're going to take those foundational skills that you built through the 101 and the 102 course, and we're going to take them to the next level. We're going to master dynamic formulas using very dynamic and robust functions. We're going to discuss logic-based functions, things like the if statement. We're going to talk about lookup functions, perhaps one of the most popular ones, VLOOKUP. We're also going to introduce you to the index and match functions two very powerful functions that you could use together through a technique called nesting. We're going to talk about text-based functions, how we can manage and maintain text values. We're going to get into worksheet protection, how you can lock down specific cells and keep people from editing them. Nice clean data there. 
we're going to discuss auditing. Make sure that you're getting clean, proper formulas in there, no errors. So I'm going to introduce you some quick techniques on auditing your Excel worksheets. We're going to talk about automation and macros. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. In the advanced section of this course, we're going to get a sneak peek into macros. Once again, follow along with me. Use the exercise files. Go through the samples. Really apply these skills. That's the way that I found the best way to learn something new is to quickly apply it. So take advantage of those exercise files. And then the last course within this Ultimate Excel course, we're going to master Microsoft Excel, Macros, and VBA. And we're going to do this first by discussing the Macro Recorder, perhaps the most accessible way to create automation inside of your Excel day-to-day -day tasks. We're going to talk about just automation. What's the idea here? What can you do? How can you save time as you work inside of Excel? We're going to talk about VBA concepts, visual basic for applications, programming concepts. Now, not to worry. If you're not a programmer, that's okay. We're going to walk you step by step through each of the projects that you're going to master as you get into Excel's macros and VBA. We're talking about creating dynamic code through the use of variables and retrieving input from our users. We're going to talk about creating reusable code. Once again, don't reinvent the wheel. You've already got something and I could use that again. Then do that. Reuse it. You're going to get walked through each and every project. I'm going to hold your hand, walk you through them. We're going to understand and we're going to master the power that comes from Excel macros and VBA. And again, take advantage of each exercise file. Use those to your advantage. Use the sample files, walk through with me, and let's jump in there and let's master Microsoft Excel from beginner to advanced and beyond.